Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Well, for this video, I would like to start asking if you remember Jarvis, the uh, Tony Stark's uh, personal AI assistant in Iron Man and Avengers movies. Uh, well, what if I told you that we can easily um, configure our, our own uh, personal assistant using the technologies and the features and the tools that uh, OpenAI provide to us. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, the idea for this video is that is um, just to show you step by step how you can configure and test your own personal AI assistant. So, well, let's take a look. We have, uh, first of all, uh, the documentation for sure. We are using the text to speech. Um, uh, functionalities from the OpenAI, and uh, well, I will let you in the comments the link for this repo that I found and, and realized that is very interesting, very very cool, and I played a little bit with with it and find it really interesting. Uh, so most of the credits of this video is for this guy Svipino. I, if you're seeing this, man, you did a great one. Uh, well, for sure, uh, we we'll start to clone the code. Just go right here and clone it and copy the the URL. Just go to your terminal and use our uh, command click git clone and clone it. Uh, for sure, uh, as you clone it, you will have in your local and we'll just open your um, uh, Visual Studio code and you will see this part right here. You will see the assistant, the readme, and the requirements. And we will take a look at this one in a moment. We will see the requirement that is a text file that indicates uh, all the tools that we are using in a Python code to execute this agent and the readme that will bring us some instructions so um, to configure and run by uh, ourselves. And basically, well, after that, we need to create a .env uh, file, and we need to uh, get the OpenAI key. So to get that, we'll just to go to your um, platform in OpenAI, go to dashboard, uh, op API keys, and well, I create this one and include it at the .env. Well, for sure, I will delete it after publishing this video, don't worry. <laughs> and well, after that, uh, we will need to create a virtual environment in Python to run all of this stuff. So uh, we will see in a moment, we will take a look of the assistant by, this is the heart and the core of the agent. We will take a, a, a look of that. I Basically, I did some modification of this code because if you clone and run it without any modification, they will turn on your camera and will start in, um, communicating with you and uh, get all the comments and all the prompt based on what is the agent seen in the camera. But so the thing that I would like to uh, change at this part is uh, we'll have the possibility to the agent to get a screenshot uh, of my desktop because well I realized that maybe if I if I'm using uh, the application of the camera and if the if the agent is seeing uh, my desktop I can have both features in in once right I can get my my the face recognition and the interaction with the camera but also the desktop in case uh, uh, if I need to request or ask uh, something related with a document web page or code that I'm working on right so well let's take a, take a look of the code well we have uh, as you can see these blue lines right here and the green ones is the code that i modified and include so well i change uh, some importations uh, but that basically this is the uh, tools that we are using uh, to the to, to get this agent uh, we'll um, i load the the dot env just to get the api key in our code uh, we have two uh, 
uh, classes right here. One is the desktop screenshot that basically is the eyes of the agent. We initialize right here just to store the 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 captures and screenshot flag flag to indicate if the screenshot capture is running and will lock for threat synchronization. We have all the start right here that is waiting for a uh, well it, it runs and wait for a for a prompt um, that basically at this part uh, we create a thread. Uh, for updates uh, at this definition of the up updates will we capture the entire desktop screenshot we here convert to BGR uh, for well to format to an open CV uh, we acquire the log and safe access to the screenshot we create a copy to a voice race conditions and uh, we release the log and well we are I set up um, a, slim, a, a, a slip time of 0 0.1 seconds before the next capture. Um, at this part, what we have, well, we acquiring the lock for the safe access. We release the lock. Uh, we are co converting uh, this in an uh, image format. And after that, coding in a uh, base64 um, and return it. Yeah. And will the stop? This is a flag only for the user if they if it wants to stop the process. Uh, we can handle it with this. And the assistant, um, this is the heart uh, uh, of the the heart and the brain, I think, of, of this agent. So we have this class that basically will create a inference change uh, for response uh, generations. Uh, that one, uh, well, this uh, if there is no prompt, well, they won't send anything. Um, at this one, well, we are managing all the prompt generation. We print it in the console, the, the prompt, the response, just to check it if the agent um, is understanding and generating uh, in, a pro, in, a, in a correctly way uh, the things that the user requests or asks. Um, well, at uh, this part, uh, well, basically we convert uh, the speech, um, it convert it to the text to speech uh, if it exists and finish the process. We have this one that is the, the TT, TTS, the text to speech um, definition that basically will uh, we use this one to open the audio stream for playback and configure all the all the speech. In this case, well, I'm using the TTS number one, but uh, you can also put it like the HD version, but this is uh, way expensive. Um, I choose the Onyx version. This is the, uh, by default with Aloy version, but um, I, we can uh, take a look of that. Uh, just if we go to this part, we can check all the the um, option that we have right here. We have the a sun right. rises in the east and set. We have onyx. The train chugged along the track. And we have in nova. Kitchen, well, we have uh, uh, multiple options. Uh, if you like to test with uh, uh, this one, well, you can play with it. I really like the onyx one. Well, at this part, at the create of the inference change, we are setting all the uh, the initial um, configuration of the agent. So at this part, I'm setting the first the base prompt that basically I'm uh, specifying that I need a laid back surfer assistant, um, very friendly, ultra casual that we use uh, natural slang like dude, rat, etc. And uh, very important uh, I set up no longer responses no longer than 15 words after that well I'm setting up all the uh, initial configurations uh, will uh, basically create a prompt template using the system prompt and placeholder for the user's input and chat history and um, well, uh, we are setting up the placeholder for the encodes base64 image if there is provide um, at this part well basically we have like uh, we are building um, 
all the inference change by connecting the prompt template, the language model, and the output. Uh, we initialize all the the chat uh, uh, the chat history, um, and we create this one, this return, well, to create a runnable with a message history object, basically to manage all the chain and chat history. After that, well, um, we uh, setting up well, all the uh, the screenshot process we started uh, we define the model at this part uh, this part i define all well, the gvd uh, for o mini uh, you can also use the the for o but it's more expensive uh, but well, you can test it if you, if you want to, and we'll, we initialize the assistant. At this part, um, we have the audio callback that basically um, that we are doing right now is making a function uh, uh, to the speech recognition uh, engine uh, and the, uh, to detect the audio. Uh, well, at this point, uh, this part will we try that basically we attempt to recognize to the spoken text from the audio data and um, we'll add with this line basically we are setting up if the recognition is successful send the recognized text as a prompt to the assistant uh, well this along with the captures a screenshot that is encoded in base 64 um, well, uh, for this part, we uh, initialize the speak recognition object. We initialize the mic, and uh, we uh, start the whole agent. So yeah, well, that's pretty much the whole code. Uh, as you can see, well, I basically do uh, tiny changes uh, just to uh, adapt this assistant to. Um, get the information from the desktop and not from the camera device. So yeah, well, let's go to the phone part. Uh, let's play with it. Okay, well, uh, to run this, uh, we need, as I told you, a, uh, to create a virtual environment in Python. So uh, to do that, I'm using Miniconda. Uh, well, if you like it, please leave me in the comments. I will. Uh, share with you a quick uh, startup guide to install it in your local. Uh, and basically, I'm start just to create a, a new uh, virtual environment. So I will use Conda create um, new uh, VM virtual environment with Python uh, 3.12 dash okay it's done um, we will use conda activate pm and now we know that we are in the virtual environment because of this the, the tag uh, we will change from base to the virtual environment that uh, I call it less like pm um, after that well we start to uh, install the requirements that it's the all the tools that, that we need um, re requirements uh, after install all, all the requirements we'll just run it Python assistant goodbye hey buddy could you explain explain to me this graph please sure thing dude this graph shows surf conditions for the week. You got wave height, swell direction, wind speed, and tide times. The stars indicate surf quality, and the colors represent wind conditions. Check the wave size and direction for the best riding times. Stay stoked. OK, could you take a look of this code? I think I have some typos. All right, dude. Here are a couple of quick fixes. One, doc type declaration. Make sure it's doc type HTML, no extra angle bracket. Two, alert message. Change alert, hello world, to alert, hello world. Remove the exclamation mark at the start. That should keep it smooth. Keep shredding that code. 
Okay, analyze this job offer, please, and give me four tips to uh, get uh, to show out my profile. For sure, dude. Here are four tips to boost your profile for that Ruby developer gig. One, highlight relevant skills. Emphasize your experience with Ruby, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. List any related frameworks you know. Two, showcase projects. Include examples of projects where you use Ruby in any deployment tools. Add links if possible. Three, detail education. Make sure your degree is visible, especially if it's in computer science or a related field. Before, mention adaptability, problem solving, and teamwork to match the job's characteristics. Keep it rad and good luck. Could you tell me what I'm doing at the camera? Looks like you're having some fun with the camera, dude. You're probably taking a selfie or just goofing around with some cool poses. Keep that energy high and enjoy the moment. Okay, um, help me to find these references. I would like to know how is the cost of this device. Looks like you've got an MSI Force GC20 V2 controller there, dude. To find the cost, check online retailers like Amazon or gaming stores. Prices usually range from $30 to $60, but keep an eye out for sales. Happy hunting. Hey, could you tell me how can I generate an API key at this web page? To generate an API key on that web page, dude, follow these steps. One, sign up login. Create an account or log into your existing account on the OpenAI platform. Two, dashboard. Go to the dashboard after logging in. Three, API key section. Look for the API key section in your account settings. Four, generate key. Click on create API key or a similar option and follow the prompts. Five, copy the key. Once generated, copy the key and keep it safe. Now you're ready to roll with that API. Keep it chill. Okay, well, I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like this agent. I found really interesting. I will definitely will keep playing with that. Uh, well, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, and well, see you in the next time. Have a good waves.